This is a phenomenon that we see happening across the country with Boomer and Gen X parents having strained relationships with their adult children. There are so many adult children out there who are no contact, low contact with their parents because of this type of behavior. And I feel like we are witnessing a movement of adult children saying enough is enough. We are not gonna be guilted into maintaining relationships with y'all. We are not going to continue toxic relationships with y'all. We want you to show up and do better. Because all the generations before us, it was like, well, it's just an obligation. Yeah, my dad is, you know, abusive and toxic, but I'm still going to show up every Sunday for Sunday dinner because it was just an obligation that they just fulfilled. And we, I, you know, I, I, I say millennials, especially, I think we're the first generation to be like, mm -mm, no. I, too, am a low contact girly. Yeah, I had to do it myself. I love my parents, but God damn, it's a lot of work dealing with them. And we see this phenomenon happening of, you know, this disconnect between Boomer and Gen X parents and their adult children. We're living in two different generations with two different expectations and two different worlds. And you have adult children saying, Mom, Dad, this is what I need from you. This is what I need. This is a type of, you know, behavior I need from you. This is a type of support I need from you. And you have Gen X and Boomer parents being like, well, I put a roof over your head, Monique. Oh, well, we, we provided all that for your baby three years ago. <laughs> oh, I made sure you had food. I did my job. Sure, I wasn't emotionally available. <laughs> sure, I tried to buy your love. Sure, I was abusive. Sure, I was toxic. Sure, I was verbally, emotionally, physically abusive. But <laughs> I did my best. And I refuse to change or hear any other side than my perspective. And millennials and some older Gen Z are like, okay, well then we just don't need to talk to each other anymore. And now you have this whole phenomenon of uh, Gen X and Boomer parents on the internet complaining about how their children don't wanna talk to them anymore. They're so ungrateful and so selfish. I had a friend back in the day who said this to me and it changed my life because I used to be like so I feel I would feel so guilty with my parents all the time and do things out of guilt and obligation. And, you know, I would be like, oh, I don't want to say that. I don't want to hurt their feelings. You know, I don't want to. And, and by saying things, I mean, telling them what they did to me, you know, how bad of parents they were when I, as, as a child, as when I was growing up. And I would be like, you know, I don't want to like call them out on stuff because I don't want to hurt their feelings. And my friend was like, girl, that's what therapy is for. If their feelings are hurt, that's what therapy is for. They can go work that out with their therapist. And I was like, damn, bitch, you're right. You is right. And that was one moment that helped lift the burden of guilt off of my shoulders. And now I choose me and my sanity and my peace of mind. And if you as a parent want to be a part of your adult children's lives, you have to show up the way they want you to show up. You no longer have you know, the power in the relationship. You can't hold their survival over their heads. Yeah, when we needed you, when we needed you to eat and live and to survive, of course we had to stick around and deal with your bullshit. But once we don't need you anymore, what's left is the relationship that y'all cultivated or lack thereof. And a lot of y'all have made beds that you now have to sleep in. And you don't like how it feels because there's a bunch of thumbtacks and, and nails and broken glass in, the, in those sheets. The same thumbtacks and nails and broken glass that were in our sheets when we were kids that we couldn't complain about because we would be disrespectful or talking back. Well, guess what? Now you have to lay in that bed and sleep in that bed and let those shards of glass slice your skin up while we heal our wounds from our childhood and we do the work that you refuse to do.